Third-generation cephalosporins include several drugs. The list of third-generation cephalosporins includes cefotaxime, ceftizoxime, cefixime, ceftinir, ceftibutin, cefepirazone, ceftazidime, ceftriaxone, cefpodoxime proxitil, and ceftatorin pivoxil. Ceftizoxime and cefepirazone are not available in the United States. Third-generation cephalosporins share the same mechanism of action as other cephalosporins. Cephalosporins are cell wall synthesis inhibitors and are bactericidal. Cephalosporins kill bacteria by interfering with the transpeptidation reaction by binding to and inhibiting transpeptidase. For more details on this mechanism, please refer to the video that focuses on cephalosporins as a whole. Beta-lactamase degradation remains as the most prevalent mechanism of resistance to third-generation cephalosporins. Third-generation cephalosporins share mechanisms of resistance that other cephalosporins possess. Refer to the video that covers cephalosporins as a whole for more details. The third-generation cephalosporins build upon the progress made by the second-generation cephalosporins, as the third-generation cephalosporins extend the spectrum of coverage to incorporate even more gram-negative bacteria. However, this expansion of the gram-negative coverage causes third-generation cephalosporins to tend to have less activity against gram-positives, especially streptococci and staphylococci species, versus first-generation cephalosporins. Third-generation cephalosporins are active against beta-lactamase producing Neisseria species and Haemophila species. However, they are not reliable against Enterobacter species due to their constitutive expression of beta-lactamase. Acinetobacter species, Citrobacter species, Serratia species, and Providencia species also can produce constitutive expression of beta-lactamase, and therefore, third-generation cephalosporins should not be used. It is important to note that ceftazidime is the only drug out of this group that is active against P. aeruginosa. Cefotaxime and ceftriaxone have activity against most gram-negative and gram-positive aerobic bacteria. These drugs also possess resistance to several narrow-spectrum beta-lactamases, yet they have poor activity against B. fragilis. Cefpodoxine proxitil and ceftatorin pivoxil are prodrugs that are hydrolyzed to the active forms of cefpodoxime and ceftatorin, respectively. These drugs have similar but less potent coverage versus cefotaxime, cefixime, cefpodoxine proxitil, Ceftinir and ceftibutin are active against E. coli, H. influenzae, P. mirabilis, and S. pyogenes. Ceftibutin and suffixime have poor activity against S. aurelius and less activity against pneumococci. The adverse effects of the third-generation cephalosporins are similar to the adverse effects described in the cephalosporin overview video. Hypersensitivity to the beta-lactam ring remains the most common adverse effect. Ceftriaxone may displace bilirubin due to its high binding affinity for serum albumin. This can potentially lead to jaundice in neonates. Therefore, cefotaxime is the preferred agent in this patient population. Due to its high affinity for calcium, ceftriaxone can also lead to biliary pseudolithiasis. This adverse effect can be reversed by discontinuation of ceftriaxone administration. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please direct any questions to me on Twitter at Sheehy underscore Ryan. I've also included my sources here. Thanks again.